So I'm pretty impressed. So right now I'm pretty impressed about the image quality on this little tiny camera from Run King. This is so. So after. So right. So I'm pretty impressed. So I'm pretty impressed the image quality on this Ron Kim Thumb Pro, the little tiny FPV camera. Just a little. So I'm pretty impressed this little tiny little freaking. So I'm so I'm pretty impressed. So I'm pretty impressed about this little Ron Kim Thumb Pro. So so I'm pretty impressed about this little tiny. So I'm pretty impressed about this little tiny. So I'm pretty impressed about this Ron Kim Thumb Pro, a little 4K camera, action camera, FPV camera. <laughs> so I'm. So right now I'm pretty impressed about this little Ron Kim Thumb Pro 4K. The image quality is acceptable. So right now it's. So I'm pretty impressed about this Ron Kim Thumb Pro 4K. It's just the image quality is acceptable. So I'm pretty impressed about this Ron Kim Thumb Pro 4K. The image quality looks okay, but the audio quality is just like crap. It's just like you're in the submarine, that kind of stuff. <laughs> But usually you will not use this camera to record audio. So the image quality is pretty good. The price point is pretty good. The lightweight camera design. And oh, if you use this camera uh, still not on the FPV, there are no any wind. It will get hot easily. This will just. <laughs> So right now I'm pretty impressed about this little 4K camera, the Runcam Thumb Pro 4K. So lightweight design, little small 4K camera for FPV. This is just an also. <laughs> also. So right now I'm pretty impressed about this Runcam Thumb Pro 4K. The image quality looks solid. The audio, mm, not pretty good just like you are under the water but <laughs> you will not use this little camera to record audio only so image quality awesome a little tiny camera and beautiful price point so mm, right now I oh and and a little But a little, but there is a little problem, kind of problem. But there is a little problem you need to be careful. But there, <laughs> so this camera, I think this. So this little camera, I think you just. So. But you need to. But keep, but keep in mind. But keep in mind. But keep in mind. This little camera, if you just place it somewhere and there is no any airflow, this camera will get pretty hot. <laughs> just like the GoPro. If you just place it still, because this is a, just a tiny little camera, there are no. <laughs> but keep in mind, this little camera, if you just want to place it still, 
But keep in mind, this little camera, if you place it somewhere, put it still, no any airflow, it will get hot very easily. And pr yeah, pretty hot. So if you want to, I don't know, will it overheat? Keep in, but keep in mind, this little camera, if you want to place it still, 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 still. But keep in mind, if you want to place, but keep in mind, if you want to use this little camera, but keep in mind, if you want to use this little camera somewhere else, not on the FPV drone. You need to keep in mind but if you want to use but if you want to use this little camera but if you want to use this little camera somewhere else not on the FPV drone you need to keep in mind the airflow problem because it will get hot very easily little tiny camera if you place it stay place it somewhere and put it there place it still Jesus but but if you want to but if you want to use this little camera somewhere else but if you want to use this little camera somewhere else not on the FPV drone you need to uh, mm. but if you want to use this little camera somewhere else not on the FPV drone um, you need to be careful because it will get hot very easily um, Maybe you need a little fan or something to cool this down. <laughs> but if you want to use this little camera somewhere else, not on the FPV drone, if you want to place it somewhere and put it there, without any airflow it will get hot very easily so uh, just keep in mind maybe take a little fan to cool it down because it would just get super hot <laughs>